It's about set now. And today on the hill, Cole Reagans. Chris, he's got the ability to take control of a game when he's out there. Well, incredible mound presence, and he's going to attack hitters. Look at that strikeout per nine ratio over 10 coming into this start. So he's a pitcher that wants the ball. He's aggressive. He knows that he can get the swing and miss, especially when he needs it most. We'll see how effective he is in this one. Next pitch is downstairs. Fouled off. He was late. Two two now. Swing and a ball popped up. Gets under it. And he makes the catch. One away. Check out the Red Sox lineup. Not a team that usually sees a lot of pitches or works a ton of walks, Chris. They take a more aggressive approach than some of the other teams in the league. They definitely have a few free swingers in this lineup. You know, guys who want to be on the attack, and that's great as long as you got pitches in the zone. But if the pitcher's able to expand the zone, it can be very difficult for an offense like this to get going. You've got to somehow draw some walks, put some runners on base so that when you do have those free swingers come up, you can that cash in with some runs that are played. Tyler O'Neill. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Two down, nobody on. Not even close there. Two and one. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Hampson on the move. Makes the grab. Nice play after the long run. And that is that. No score as we head to the bottom of the first. Back here in Kansas City. And on the hill, Cutter Crawford. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. And here now, the lineup for the Royals. This group was shut out their last game, so we're going to see if they can bounce back with a better effort here today. And Boog, it can get in your head a little bit when you get shut out. You're frustrated. You're seeing that consecutive streak of innings you haven't scored. And you want to get off to a great start, score early, because if you don't, you feel like you could linger into two oh, consecutive it. games, which no one wants to be a part of. One out, base is empty. Good eye oh, right great. there. Up the middle, over to Smith, and Witt is out. Batting third, the designated hitter. Vinny. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the DH, Vinny Pasquantino. Hit on the ground to the right side. He takes it himself it. to the bag, and that'll do it. Nothing doing for the Royals in the first. After an inning from KC, no score on the show. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, all set for the start of the inning. And here is Devers. Yeah, and here's a fun stat on Devers. He's at his best when he's hitting homers and doubles, and by the time he was 26 years old, Devers already had over 150 home runs and more than 200 doubles. He's just the 15th player in baseball history with those kinds of numbers at that age. That one, 
95 to finish him off. And now the catcher comes up to him. Connor Wong. One down, base is empty. And another ball. One is in for a strike. Carl Dixon working the plate in this one. You know, we often hear and talk about umpires being a pitcher's umpire, but Boo Dixon maybe a little bit more hitter friendly than most. He's kind of tight on the corners, so we'll see if that comes into play at all in this one. And yeah, now the count cool. filled up three and two. How much were you aware of the umpire scouting report or even who was going to be umpiring? Not a whole lot. I mean, there were a couple of umpires that weren't real good, but outside of that, you just kind of went into the game, especially back when I was playing. That is it. The right field. Will your Abreu. And at first, here's the rookie right fielder, Will your Abreu. And a pitch. That's a strike. One and two. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. No score here in the second. Two. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still late on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. Now it's Dominic Smith. Next offering upstairs. Two balls, one strike. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. Here at the top of the second. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Swing and a miss. And it's safe. It's a stolen base. You know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far. So why not try to put some pressure on him and see if he can steal the bag, get in the scoring position. Up the middle, finds its way through base hit. Coming home, here's the throw to the plate. He's safe. Well, they strike first as he gets the job done to bring home the run. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. And with two down, the Red Sox. The early lead, and now it's the switch hitting second baseman. And another ball. Three balls, one strike. The pitch. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Two outs. Into center. On his way over. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 1-0. It's Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the veteran first baseman, Salvador Perez. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. The pitch. Foul ball there. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. 
Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already is bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Next yep, pitch is outside. Out. Two balls, two strikes. Three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Here's the catcher. Ready for me. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. Pitch. And a runner around in the right center for a base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one goal. Which is so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. So one out with two aboard. Here's Garrett Hampson. The one two just misses without one well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot no better way to get out of this inning runners at first and second with one gone still two and two after the foul ball definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside really think the outer half is open swings and misses struck him out couldn't catch up to the heater. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just launched him up on oh. the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him. And a base hit on the line. Coming home. Throw is high and over his head. Base hits like that one all day long, and so can every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. First and second, two outs. So up now for Kansas City, Dyrone Blanco. And another ball. Laboring here. About to throw his 30th pitch of the inning. And connect on the curveball struck him out. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. And we're back on to the third off. inning. Leading the off, Zidane Rafaela. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. Right through there for a strike. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Well, that high four-seam fastball has become such a staple as a strikeout pitch over the years. And what's so tough as a hitter is that you see it extremely well. The problem is the velocity and spin rate just happens to jump by you. You expand your zone. You don't stay tall on the backside. And you're really not even able to make contact. If you do, many times it's a pop-up. Now batting Jaron Duran. Fly ball down the line. This has got a chance, and it is foul. Kicks and fires. Back to the mound. He's got it. 
Slings to first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. The bat now a chance for Masataka Yoshida. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Though Chris through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Two outs. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, it doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Two out space is empty. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Down in order go the Red Sox. Still tied 1 1. Back here in Kansas City as we go to the last of the third. Now it's the second baseman, number 11. On the ground, right side. Over to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. The batter number seven. Shortstop. Bobby Witt Jr. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. One down. Now here is Vinny Pasquantino. Pitch out, but no action. Move to first. No, he's Back in their standing. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. That one fouled off. Two and two. Man at first, one away. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. O'Neill puts it away. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. Two one. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. Now move to first. Went back in standing. line out towards center. Durant makes the play and that is the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors and a man left. On to inning number four. All tied 1-1. One, one. Back here at Kauffman Stadium. John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Tyler O'Neill. Line of the pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. And here it comes. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. Not in time. That's a leadoff double. Anytime you can drive a ball into the gap the other way, it feels so good. And that's when you know you're right where you need to be at the plate. 
It's even better when it gets you extra bases. Got to love looking in at your dugout and seeing your teammates fired up. And it's Rafael Devers in the box. Swing and a miss as he was out front. It's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. Top half of inning number four. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Chases the changeup in the dirt. Got him. One away on the strikeout. Well done behind the dish. The batter. The catcher. And stepping in for Boston, Connor Wong. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. And it's second. Two and ball. another ball. That one misses. And it's three and two. One out and a runner at second. Fly ball center field. Dives and makes the catch. Oh, this is an all in effort right here. Going back on it, knows that the outfielder's not going to get there, lays out and makes a tremendous catch. What a great job of picking up his pitcher. At the play, Will your Abreu. The 2 1. Swing and a miss. Two two down. Swing and a miss. Gassed it right by him. So a leadoff double, but they can't cash it in. On now to the bottom of the fourth. All tied one one. And welcome back to the ballpark. A Renfro at the plate. Hunter Renfro. Next offering upstairs. Well, these Royals did a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there. And that might be the best news yet for this offense. Righty delivers. Battling here as he fouls it away. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. And he grounds one to the right side. Over to Smith. One out in the bottom of the four. Up next to the boy. The catcher. Ready. Freddie for me now at the plate. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. In the air out towards right center. Abreu makes the grab. And yeah, there's two away. Up next to the ball. The center fielder. And now the center fielder, Garrett Hampson. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time. And he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt.
now you see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really as a way to beat the shift got him swinging nothing doing for the Royals score remains deadlocked at one New inning getting started, and now it's going to be Dominic Smith. Left-hand batter waits. Two balls, one strike. You know, these Red Sox just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. The wind of the pitch. Three balls, two strikes. And he's swinging and miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. A cutter right there had just enough movement on it to get the swing and miss. It wasn't a great location by any means. That's typically a spot that hitters can handle. So I'd say he fooled him with just enough of that late action. Here's the second baseman. In the air, right field. Renfro getting an angle on it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Out number the two. Out. The short short out. Today. Sedane Rafaela will hit next. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. The next pitch misses. And the count two and one. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Perez drifts towards it, tries to make the play, but it's foul. Three. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Nothing doing for Boston. Score remains tied, 1-1. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. Paul DeYoung. That's in for a strike on the outside corner. Now one and two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. And the righty deals. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. I mean, there aren't many curveballs in the sport today that break like that thing does. Huge movement. It's so difficult to get on the same plane and even think about squaring it up, let alone get a piece and hope he throws something else to keep the at bat alive. And stepping in is the speedy Dyron Blanco. Just missed. All tied up. Last half of inning number five. Hit in the air, right field. Abreu calls it in, two away. Now that second base in. Mike So the Royals' batting order turns over. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a three up, three down inning. Royals go down one, two, three. We played five full. Tied at one aside. All set for the top of the sixth. So stepping in for Boston, Jaron Duran. The lefty ready and a 1 1. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Renfro in position. 
one up, one down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. Masataka. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top half of the sixth. And a pitch. Goes down looking. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. The one two. And another ball. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. That one way outside. Counts full, 3 and 2. Two down, nobody on. Hard hit left side. Wit over to first. And O'Neill is retired. And that is that. Offense held a check there. 2 3 4 due up in the home half of the sixth. All tied 1 1. Bottom of the six. And now Bobby Witt Jr. You know, Boo, this is a player with some serious speed in 2023. He became the first player in 20 years to record two infield okay, hits sorry. and an inside the park home run in the same game. Movement in the bullpen. Nick Pavetta preparing to come on if needed. Bernardino, the lefty, warming up as well. The 2 1. Oh, Just okay. missed. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. center and that should be extra bases makes the turn and heads for second in safely with a leadoff double go ahead runs in scoring position love how he let that ball travel trusted his hands nice job of going the other way Pasquantino steps in for the Royals. And the right hander deals. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And an automatic throw as it hits the fence. As they jump ahead and run scores. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Salvador Perez steps in for the Royals. Next offering in there for a strike. One, One and two. Two straight. One run across in the frame so far here in the bottom of the sixth. And two another ball. Two strike. Outside low, ball three. Man at second. And a foul ball, he stays alive. two now gets a piece and stays alive foul we'll see another payoff pitch 
at the belt and fires. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That one carrying. Feeling for the wall as he makes the catch. Runner tags at second, and he makes it up to third with one away. Up next to the board. The right field. Hunter. And now Alex Cora is out of the dugout, and he will make a move for the bullpen. Cutter Crawford won't go any further tonight. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Nick Pavetta into the game. Coming on to face a righty here, and he's been fantastic against him this year. His numbers in those matchups are very good. Now it's Hunter Renfro. The goal is to give your teammate a chance to score from third. There's a few ways he can get it done, but his best chance is to drive one in the air, look for the right pitch up, and then smoke it. Hit hard on the ground is short. On the run, throw the first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. So important to really lock in on an at-bat like this. It seems easy with the infield back, but you've got to make sure you put the ball in play. Put it on the ground, brought that run in. Freddie for me, the next to hit. Two outs. Good ball eye two. on that spot. We got two balls, one strike. In the air, left field, down the line, and a foul ball. Here's a 2-2. Center field, Durant on his way in. Got it! Really had to move for that catch. And that's the inning. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Royals three, and the Red Sox one. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Hunter Harvey. Well, now, the best relievers the love the opportunity to come Number in and protect the tight lead Hunter. late in the ball game. Some of them are just oh, wired yeah. different, so we'll see what he's got here. Devers now. The 1-1. Ball, that's out. Looking to get something going, this is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. Tapper back to the mound. Tosses to first, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Now back, the catcher, Connor Wong. Now the catcher up to hit, Connor Wong. Pitch nope, misses there, ball. and a count two and one. Action in the pen Let's down there. Angel Serpa, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Ersig, the hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. Here's a two-one. And it's strike two. <laughs> One down, base is empty. A little bit high. And now it's three and two. Boog, I'm not sure how he took that right there. I mean, that was an incredible two-strike pitch. Fights it off. He'll see another. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Right-hander kicks, deals. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. In safely. It's a double, and his second hit. 
Man, that was a pretty good battle to play, and I'll tell you, it feels pretty good as a hitter when you grind out a hit like that. I'll tell you. Man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Willier Abreu getting ready to hit. And a count one and two. The tying run at the plate. That one down the line, and it's just foul. That was close. Swing and a miss to him out. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Oh, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable with the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now, not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. He'll have some adjustments to make. Angel Serpa gets the call from the pen. Now, pretty, pretty big spot he's coming into, trying to strand that runner at second ball. base. So Under. he's going to need to make some quality pitches. He does have first open if he needs to use it. Dom Smith stands in. In the air, center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. Mission accomplished from the Royals' bullpen that time. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Royals three, and the Red Sox one. Back here in Kansas City, set for the last half of the seventh. And here is Garrett Hampson. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And a count one, one and two. Two strike. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. She just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. So up next, Paul DeYoung. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. and misses it's a strikeout he swung over top of the curveball I gotta think that was the plan all the way he set him up with a high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging now especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days that's a devastating combination popped in the air left field O'Neill drifts towards it brings it in for the third out And we're back. Leading we're at the top of the eighth. Off. And now the it's the switch hitting second baseman, eight, eight, number 97. Silver. Way upstairs, two, one, two one. and one. Right through there for a strike. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Now one away. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's the other guys that have to think about it. From your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. i got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. The Royals leading by two, and we're in the top of the eighth. Swing and a miss, 
and he struck him out. And there are two down. Well, that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. And that'll do it. Red Sox go down 1-2-3. Score holds, it's 3-1. Out of the bottom of the eighth, and to the play for Kansas City, number 11. Right-handed reliever. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. The wind and the pitch. Not close with that one. Two and two. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Sizes this one up, and he can't make the play. Caught him looking for the K. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Shortstop, Bobby Witt Jr. Bobby Witt Jr. steps in for the Royals. One down, base is empty. Next Come offering on. misses What's down that? and away. Here comes a pitch. That's ball three. Base is empty, three one away. One Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. He swings and fouls one off. Aye. Got him looking. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. So he gets the call and picks up the strikeout looking. Sometimes with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that, but just not right there. Strike zone definitely expanded a little bit with two strikes. Two outs, base is empty. Vinny Pasquantino digs in now. Outside low, and it's two and one. Hey. Late that time, and it's strike two. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Ground ball up the middle, and it's through for a hit. And that means Salvador Perez will have a chance to hit. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Two outs, runner at first. On the ground, Rafaela. The throw to first. What a play. Inning over. Royals leave one, but they still lead it 3 1. Closer, James McCarthy. Well, he's been excellent yeah. against left handed hitters this year, and that's his first test. This looks like a good move to the pin in terms of the matchup. And a 1 1. Hey. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Hey. And down on strikes. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door, 
cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. On the ground, and that one handled. Throws to oh. first, two up, two down. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking oh, for. Ball on the ground, nice ground out. So they're down to their final out. Rafael Devers up to hit. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top of the ninth. Lifted to left, and that should do it. And that'll do it. The Royals claim the win here, but it's a great pitching and defense. But with the sixth win in a row, all of a sudden, you start to look around, up and down the lineup, to your left, to your right as a player, and you say, you know what, we're good. Uh, we may have had some tough times earlier on, but this is a good team, and you start to expect this kind of play out of yourself. We'll see if this translates into a longer winning streak than it is right now. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.